10 Signs of the Resurrection and End Times. First of all, don't forget to like and subscribe so that the channel grows and becomes an incentive to make more and useful videos. Number 1. Rise of False Messiahs and False Religions In Matthew 24 verse 5 Jesus said, For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. We have had over 1,100 leaders just in the last 50 years claim to be the Christ. I was in the Philippines in Davao City, and they have their own Christ, Pastor Apollo, who claims to be the Christ incarnate. Not only that, but Jesus said in Matthew 24 verse 11 that dot many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Not long after the ascension of Jesus, prophets like Muhammad, Islam, John Smith, Mormon Church, and movements like the New Age also arose and deceived many. Number 2. Wars in the World Matthew 24 verses 6 to 7 says, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Since 1945, in just 48 years, there have been 300 wars, more than 15 nations have nuclear weapons, and every day we are getting closer and closer to World War III. Number 3. Increase in hunger. And there will be famines and pestilences. Matthew 24 verse 7. The New York Times reported that there are 40,000 deaths every day in the world due to malnutrition. U.S. Today reported that 90% of all the babies born in the next 20 years will be born in the countries that are least able to feed them. Number 4. Earthquakes. And there will be. Earthquakes in various places Matthew 24 verse 7. Historians have calculated that earthquakes have increased more than 2,000% since Columbus discovered the New World. Time magazine states that there have been more earthquakes in the last 20 years than we have seen in the previous 100. The truth is that the earth is groaning for the revelation of the sons of God and for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number 5. Incurable Sicknesses and Pestilences and there will be dot pestilences. Matthew 24 verse 7. We have seen many new strains of cancer, malaria, tuberculosis, and a variety of other sicknesses. Not only that, but we are currently in a pandemic that has killed many people, according to recent studies. This became so bad at one point that the entire world came to a stop, travel, commerce, schooling, etc. Number 6. Persecution of Christians In Matthew 24 verse 9 it says, Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. As evidence of the end days, there will be intense persecution against Christians. In China, North Korea, Central Africa, and many other places, believers die for their faith. Now, we have always seen that in different parts of the world, However, not in the Western world, here, if you say the Bible says, it's called hate speech and you are in danger of getting censored. But in general, there is hostility toward people who believe in Jesus. Number 7. A huge surge of wickedness. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Matthew 24 verse 10. This verse makes it clear that there will be a huge hatred that will increase amongst people. This generation alone can be used to describe the words hate and offense. Our generation is very hateful and overly sensitive. Anti-racism is not a solution, and protests are not the solution. The solution is not what we are against, but what we are for, love. Number 8. The love of believers will grow cold. In Matthew 24 verse 12 it says, And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. As the world gets darker, the light will shine brighter, but that also means that many complacent believers will become cold in their love towards Christ. 
I see two things happening at once, a huge revival in the church and many Christians becoming complacent and lukewarm. Revival and disappointment are occurring at the same time. We are seeing a huge surge of people mocking the supernatural, liberal pastors supporting homosexuality and progressive Christianity embracing sin. Another reason believers' love is growing cold is that they are consumed with materialism that's causing their hearts to be weighed down by the cares of this life. Number 9. World Evangelism In Matthew 24 verse 14 we read, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. In this time period, we are experiencing tremendous technological advancements. What once seemed like an impossible mission is now possible through social media. The end will come when the whole world has heard the gospel. Number 10. Israel in the land now learn this parable from the fig tree, when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors Matthew 24 verses 32 to 33. On May 14, 1948 Israel became a nation. Now, we know that the end times revolves around the prophesies having to do with Israel being fulfilled, however, nobody truly knows when the last days will be, only that they've begun. Final Thoughts We don't know the exact time of the end times, but we have a duty to advance the kingdom of God, cast out demons, heal the sick, make disciples, baptize people, and teach people to observe what Jesus told us. We don't know the exact time of the end times, but we have a duty to advance the kingdom of God. Let's not look for the Antichrist, but let's change our conduct and pray, preparing our lives for what may lie ahead. Everything will one day be destroyed and that should motivate us to lay up our treasures in heaven. The day of the Lord is coming. Jesus is going to establish his kingdom, and as Christians are looking forward to that day.